everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my doing a favorite and June being over can only mean one thing, that July is here and we all know that July is the best month of the year. So one time for my little July babies, we out here. So the last favorites video I did was April and I didn't do May 1 because like, I had finals going on, I was checking out residence, I was getting ready to move back home, and so I found that I wasn't really wearing a lot of makeup, so I decided to just skip May, and I've compiled all my products for May and June into this one video. So if you are interested in seeing what I've been loving for May and for June, then go ahead and keep on watching. But I have a lot of products, and I'm going to start off first with palettes. The first palette that I've been absolutely loving is the Charlotte and Bloom palette, y'all. I reach for this palette every time like I don't know what I want to do with my makeup. It's so neutral. It's absolutely amazing. You get um, a perfect mix of matte and shimmer colors, which I really, really like. The crease colors are absolutely beautiful. The shimmer colors look gorgeous on your lid, and it's just an overall great palette. I believe it was $45. I got it at Sephora, but I think it's well worth the price. Next palette that I've been really reaching for is the Comfort Zone Palette by Wet n Wild. This palette costs only $9. No. It costs five. This palette only costs five dollars. You get it at your local drugstore. It comes with eight shades. And what I like is that this is so beginner friendly. It tells you exactly where each color can go. But obviously, you can choose to mix and match however you please. Um, I did a makeup tutorial using this palette. I'll go ahead and link that below. They're drugstore shadows and they're so pigmented. It's unbelievable. And yeah, you can create so many different looks with this palette. You can go from, you know, daytime neutral to nighttime smoky. And I just love its versatility. So this is the wet and wild comfort zone palette. The next palette that I've been absolutely loving is my NYX Contour Kit. This goes for $25. I got this one specifically at Target. You get, I can't count, eight shades. You get eight shades, um, including this highlighter color, um, two powders to set your under eye concealer, and then five contour shades. I go in with this shade because it's the only shade that's dark enough for me, but it's super easy to blend, which I really, really love. Um, it's very pigmented and like you put this on your jawline, y'all, your face gonna be chiseled. So I absolutely love this palette. I don't think I will ever get tired of it. I just, it's bomb, y'all. It, it, it is bomb. Next favorite is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I remember in my April favorites how much I raved and raved and raved about the Naked Skin Foundation. And don't get me wrong, that's still my favorite foundation, but this is the dupe for it. This is the $8 dupe. The Naked Skin Foundation retails for, I want to say, $40. This is $8, and it's the exact same thing. It leaves you in a natural finish. It keeps you matte all day long. You don't have to worry about becoming oily throughout the day. And the only problem is, is that it it doesn't come with a pump so you like <sighs> it's so annoying like you literally have to pour it out and just like take it it's, it's just a mess but other than that's the only downfall to it but other than that I absolutely love this foundation I'll continue to wear it um, I think I'm like halfway through it to be honest so that should go for something so to blend out my foundation I have been using the real techniques buffing brush I absolutely love this brush I believe it goes for nine dollars you can get it anywhere where they sell real techniques so Ulta um, maybe some targets and stuff like that um, I really like the fact that it's dense and so it blends out your makeup seamlessly like your face looks flawless after you blend it out so I've really been liking that and then to set my powder I've been using the real techniques powder brush. This is this big fluffy brush and I've just been loving it to set my foundation with my powder. It's big, you cover more area in less time. Who doesn't love productivity? So these two brushes have been my go-to. I'm definitely going backwards because I definitely should have showed the primer before the foundation, but you know, I never have my life together. So the primer that I've been absolutely loving is the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue Primer. This primer, when I first got it, I was skeptical about it because it felt really, I don't know what's the term, slippery. And then once I started working with it, I realized how much I love this primer. It's very um, silicone feeling. I don't know if it has silicone in it. 
I, I don't believe so. But it's very silicone feeling and it's a nice like silky gel and once you warm it up in your fingers and put it on your face, you realize how easy it is to blend out and it really does make you matte. I just noticed that when I use this primer with my foundation that my makeup goes on a lot smoother and like my face is literally like this nice smooth blank canvas and so I've really been appreciating this primer and what it does for my makeup. So this is the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue again and I want to say this goes for 20 maybe $30. I'm almost sure around $30. So you can get this at Sephora or any benefit counter. Brows. Next thing I want to show you is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, I'm in the shade Chocolate and then I apply the Dip Brow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in 12. So it comes with an angled side right here and it's fully on the edge. This is an all time favorite of mine. I just never showed like my subscribers what I do, what I use to use my brows, but I use to use my brows what I use to do my brows. Whatever. But I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. I absolutely love this product. Like, holy girl, I've hit pan on it, I'm almost sure. And every YouTuber raves about this product, and I can see why. It makes your brows look absolutely flawless. The application is really, really easy. And like, your brows are popping. So this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and then their number 12 brush, so I've been loving these. Next I'm going to try to keep in the face range. I've been loving the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Extreme Camouf Camouflage Cream. Oh my god. I'm in the shade 18, and it is your heavy duty concealer. I picked this up, um, when did I pick this up? I picked this up a long time ago from Sephora, and I kind of just like put it away because I discovered the LA Girl Pro Concealers, which don't get me wrong, still one of my favorite concealers, but just for this month, I've been reaching for this more and more just to test it out, and I absolutely love it. It is a heavy duty concealer, it's going to cover your dark spots, and I absolutely love it. It's very thick, so I don't recommend you trying to use this for like your under eye area because that just, that just seems wrong, but this is like my basic shade and I use it to cover all of the dark spots I have around my face and I've been absolutely loving it. The next product is something like, I'm pretty sure it's my favorite. Out of all the products I'm showing you, my favorite by far. Um, it is the Milani Blake Baked Blush. Why can't I never say this? In 02 Rose Dioro, it's a baked powder blush. And y'all, like, look at this. When I put this on, and when I tell you, like, I'm literally glowing, I'm literally glowing. And so many people ask me what I have on when I wear this blush. It's a really pretty pink, shimmery blush. 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 Wow, I can't talk. And, like, you wear this, and your skin is going to be popping that day. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to pick up more shades. Fortunately, they don't have them in any of the targets in New York, so I have to wait till I go back to Florida to get some. But this blush is popping. It was only six dollars, and it was like the best six dollars I've ever spent in my entire life. That might be an exaggeration, but whatever. So another product that I've been using throughout May, June, yeah, May, June is the L'Oreal True Match Powder Powder Glow Illuminator blush and highlight it looks like this it comes with four colors but no one uses the colors individually I swirl them all together so on my snapchat what I do is like these little glow segments and I feature what highlighter I'm wearing and I featured this on my snapchat and everyone went crazy and I was telling my followers how much I love it because it's a natural highlighter so it's not gonna like you're not gonna have like glitter all over your face it's going to produce a nice natural glow here it is swatched and yeah, I just love the fact that it gives you a nice glow. Like you're not over shimmering, but you're not you're not that dull. You know, it's the perfect medium. It was ten dollars from the drugstore, and I think this is honestly the best drugstore highlighter that I've come across. I absolutely love this. I this is a total recommend. Like if you're gonna get a highlighter from the drugstore, just skip all of like the testing and trying out and go straight for this one. Moving on to eyes, I've been loving, like absolutely loving again the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This was a sample I believe it came with what did I get this with I don't know I got this as a sample and um, I am a hard down fan of the Urban Decay primer potion like that has been my ride or die makeup product and this month I have been reaching for this a lot a lot more and I don't know why I just feel like this is a lot thicker and it helps to create like a way smoother canvas than the Urban Decay primer potion I still love that 
but this one just does a little bit more for me and I've just noticed that um, when I'm going to blend in like my crease colors and stuff like that, the colors are blending in a lot easier and smoother and so really been liking this. Once I finish this, I'm definitely going to get the full size um, version of it. Um, still love my Urban Decay, don't get me wrong, but Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Too Faced has been doing it, like y'all, they have been doing it, so shout out to Too Faced. So the next two things are something like I have just been doing every single day and no lie every single day. So I have been just doing real basic looks when I'm going out um, to class and stuff like that. And what I do is like I like to do like a golden champagne shimmer color on my lid and then a matte brown in the crease. And I have been using the Makeup Forever Single Eyeshadow. This is like a warm matte brown. Like it's so warm and it flatters your skin tone so well you put it in your crease and it gives you the perfect definition this is in the shade cappuccino i believe it retails for about twenty dollars and i picked up this one as well just for when like i want something just a little bit more smokier and then you get like the palette itself for free so i've really been loving this shade specifically though and i've been using this brush to um blend it out in my crease um i got this in an ebay brush set and y'all this brush, when I tell you it blends it out so easily and so perfect, like this eyeshadow, this brush, and that um, eyeshadow primer, the Three Musketeers. I absolutely love it. I can go on and on and on, and every time I wear this, people always ask me, oh, what do you have in your crease? And I just tell them, and I say, like, it's literally one eyeshadow and one eyeshadow brush, and, like, it gives me, like, this bomb crease color, like, bomb, absolutely. So I've been loving, loving this. Um, I like I said, I've been wearing this every single day. So like, this is something like I'm not just saying to saying like this is golden. So y'all gonna tease me for this last makeup product, but whatever. It is the Balm Meet Matte Hughes um, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It's so small, I can't even read it. And it's in the shade Committed. I got this in my Ipsy bag, and this has been my go-to liquid lipstick. It is like your perfect nude. Um, it is so pigmented and so opaque. That is the swatch right there. And I've been wearing it literally every day. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments. And I have to pull out like this little itty bitty tiny thing. But once I finish this, I am going to get a full size of it. That's how much I absolutely love this product. It's just your basic everyday um, matte pink. And I'm like in love with it. Like it's so bomb. Like the bomb is bomb. Like. Yes. So moving on to skincare, the first thing I've been loving is the micellar cleaning wa cleansing water. Wow, I can't read today. It looks like this. Um, micellar waters have been like the crave for the past like few months. I picked this up a few months ago. Um, and it wasn't until recently when I truly appreciated it because once I moved to Colombia, I just noticed that the lighting in my room was absolutely terrible and I was making a lot of mistakes with my makeup. And so what I've been doing is using this as like a quick fix when I, you know, get my scare or somewhere like that's not on my lashes or, you know, I mess up my wig. This is what I've been going for. It takes off your makeup beautifully. Don't believe what it says on the water because it says like, oh, you can use this to take off your makeup and not even have to wash your face. You have to wash your face. Don't listen to them. You have to wash your face. But I promise you, like, it's going to take off your that first initial layer of makeup so beautifully. It's not harsh on the skin. Very gentle. It doesn't have a smell, but y'all. Yeah. I'm halfway done, and I'm pretty sure by the end of July that I'm going to finish this. I've been absolutely loving this. I do want to try the one from Simple. Is it called Simple? Yes, I do want to try the one from Simple, um, but as for now, this one has been rocking my world. Continuing on with skincare, I've been loving the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner. I was talking about this when I picked up the entire set in my last summer haul. Absolutely love this. So gentle, so nice. It smells great. Like, this is the only product from that line that smells good because that moisturizes smells disgusting like I'm, I'm gonna do a whole review on that line but if I could have any one product from that line this would be it it's so gentle and it's really nice to put this on um, after you take off your makeup it's so refreshing and bam like need this but another thing that I've been loving that doesn't smell as great unfortunately is rose rose hip oh, rose hip seed oil like I said, I can't talk today. So this is organic rosehip seed oil. I got this from a friend and I've been using this as a face serum after like I finished taking off all my makeup. I've cleansed, I've scrubbed, I've done all that. I put this on and moisturize it into my skin, y'all. This smells nasty. 
Oh, like I still can't get over the smell, but this works wonders for my skin. I just noticed that my skin has been glowing a lot with this. I just noticed that it's been a lot smoother. It's been a lot more hydrated, not oily, but hydrated, especially because I don't sleep on, I don't have my silk pillowcase, but this is more. Once you get over the smell, you realize how great this product is. For my edge control, I switched up my edge control, y'all. This is the OK. Polished edges with black Jamaican castor oil for maximum hold and strength. When I tell you, I'm literally scraping the container. I picked this up at a random beauty supply store one day and I cannot find it anywhere. And I'm so mad. I have been loving this edge control. Like it holds it holds, like it holds up against humidity, sweat makeup anything that you can think of this edge control really holds like if you are having like a hard time finding like an edge control that really lays down your edges i suggest you try this one it's absolutely bomb and i don't know what i'm gonna do when this finishes because i cannot find it anywhere and i'm literally gonna cry like literally but i've been loving this it, this was only like three dollars because it's like a small one it was like an on-the-go thing but once i get my hands on that full-size product it is a wrap my next favorite is something very different for me. It is the Prada Candy Perfume. Um, I'm not really a big perfume person just because I prefer body mist from like Bath and Body Works and stuff like that. I got this for a Christmas present from my daddy. Love your daddy. And um, I never, I wasn't using it throughout the um, spring semester and I brought it to me with New York. And y'all, this perfume is bomb. Like if you are going to invest in a perfume, invest in this one. The name does not correspond with the smell at all. So it, the name is Product Candy, but this smells so fruity. It's just a very mature fruity smell. It's not like those kitty smells that like they give you and like, it's, it's not one of those. It's like a real mature fruity smell and it smells absolutely divine. And oh, Whenever I wear this perfume, I always get a lot of comments. The bottle is absolutely adorable. You put this on your dresser to display. It looks so nice and chic. I absolutely love it. And I'm like I said, I'm not a big perfume person. But for me to put this in a favorites video, that's how much I love this perfume. So that's that. My last favorite is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula, the body oil. Y'all, this body oil. I purposely saved this for last so like I can go on and on about it. So Palmer's launched this whole line back in I want to say like March, April and I picked up the lotion. I had a sample of the lotion and I like the lotion. The lotion's good, you know, it does what lotion does. But this body oil. If y'all are trying to glow this summer, you need to invest the $5 in this body oil. It's very, it's not thick at all. It's and it's not too thin, so it's very easy to rub into the skin. But I tell you, like you rub it into your skin and you, your melanin is popping. It's literally glowing. Like people can see you walking from down the street. And I'm not exaggerating. I exaggerate on a lot of things, but this is something I don't exaggerate on. I absolutely love this whenever I know I'm gonna put on shorts, a skirt, um, a mini dress, whatever that's gonna show my legs. I always make sure to put this on before the lotion. And it's a wrap like I'm literally glowing for the entire day absolutely love this this holds a special place in my heart and once I finish this I'm gonna repurchase it again and again and again absolutely love it so I know I talked for a while but I am finally finished those were all the stuff that I've been loving throughout May and June I hope you guys had a great month it's been such a rewarding and fulfilling month for me moving to New York and studying at Columbia so far I, it's just been a blessing and I know July is going to be so perfect my birthday is coming up soon it is July 9th if any of you want to send me some gifts I'm just kidding but my birthday's coming up, um, I'm getting ready to head back to school and start RA training and my senior year of college. It's going to be a very exciting month and I'm so looking forward to what the Lord has in store for me. I hope this month is filled with happiness and prosperity for you all. And if you learned a lot from June, I'm hoping that you can take that into action in July. If you made it to the end of this video, you the real one, you the real MVP. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which products you're looking forward to trying. What are some of your June favorites? I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Be sure to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, make sure you do so. It is a makeup tutorial featuring the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette that I talked about in my favorites video today. My social media links are all listed below. Be sure to follow me. I'm really cool. I'm really funny. 
just go ahead and follow me don't forget to like comment and subscribe especially subscribe so you don't miss out on my newest videos and I will see you all in my next video bye